well to my shop and my little tip for cutting round bowl blanks. Um, I have to say right up front though that I've made modifications and without the modifications to my bandsaw, this would be extremely dangerous. And I can't emphasize that enough uh, that if you don't have the proper setup, don't attempt this. When I say modify my band, so I expanded the table. So I have a lot more distance from the blade of a flat surface. I also have this hydraulic pump table for I'm doing really big stuff. The work, work's definitely supported. So when I turn my blanks round, I turn it with the radius side down. And I have the uh, flat side up. I have a whole bunch of round disc. I tried to do it with the box side up, but then I, I really had a hard time getting a, a nice, really round piece. With this approach, life is simple. So basically, the whole gist of this is I anchor a flat piece of wood to one end. Okay? By having this anchored to this, when I cut around it, there's no, as long as the wood is supported on the table, there's no way it can rock and twist and, and flip. Um, I've been doing this now for several years and I've never had an issue. The only issue I've had is that I make my own bandsaw blades. So I may have a fail on that from time to time, but I've never come close to getting hurt. So when you attach the screws, you wanna make sure you're gonna be outside of the, the blade area. You sure as heck don't want to cut into screws. And I usually run four screws, two on either side, just in case I cut right to the outside. With two screws, they'll still hold it square. Again, I have to emphasize, if the wood is not supported the whole time, don't attempt this, okay? Just do not attempt it. Um, it's gonna get real noisy because I have a shop backward dust deputy that I run and the bandsaw is noisy. So here we go.
nice and round, full blank. Um, now I can actually do a real simple natural edge bowl. Not necessarily live edge because I hardly have anything that has bark on it, but. Can you explain the uh, uh, This is actually a Harbor Freight 1,000 pound hydraulic pump table. I, the box that's on here is actually, uh, I had to make something to reach the height of the table with this. So I actually made a downdraft table that fits on this. <laughs> I'll tell you what a what a fantastic thing to have. <laughs> I burn wood and uh, with the really large pieces. Oh wait, <laughs> with the really large pieces, I roll them onto here, pump this up, roll them onto my onto my splitter. But very very handy, extremely handy. <laughs> So this is a, a downdraft table for sanding. And made so it'll be the height of the, can go to the height of the table, of the bandsaw. If I'm going to mount this on a faceplate, I take my whole center, Drill a hole. Now I made this years ago, but you could have a piece of wood and stick something in there that's made to the idea of your faceplate. Bag, dead bag center, really simple. Nice. Now again, nothing ever seems to be okay for Ron. I put some set screws in here with the protrude out. When I put it on there, I tap it with the hammer, it's in place, and it, it can't go any place while I attach the screws. That, uh, that's Ron's approach to uh, cutting bowl blanks, prepping, prepping wood to turn. Um, I've never seen anybody do it like that. It worked exceptionally well for me. Again, if the board that's stabilizing is not attached, to making contact with the with the, with something, don't ever attempt this. You're asking to get hurt. I've been in this forty some odd years. Still got all my digits because I think about what I do before I do anything. Okay, um, this was a Walker Turner bandsaw that was given to me by my employees. Had to get it out of the shop. I uh, fortunate the way that this is made. The bottom section and the top section were bolted to the to this mast. So I was able to take some three quarter by four, mount the bottom and top to that to expand it. Now this is 21 inches of resaw capability. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a man of making stuff pretty as much as functional. So this is my guard, but it's, it keeps me from doing anything. On the bandsaw, um, I either had holes or I drilled holes to add wood or more surface area to it. Okay, and with most smaller pieces, I don't need this outboard table, but I, but I turn a lot of 18 inch, 20 inch, well not a lot, but enough. And this is how I do it, and I can do natural edge bowls very easily if I if I so desire. Um, I have a dust collector, but the shop ceiling is low here, so I have a uh, shop vac and a dust deputy at multiple machines. My bandsaw is one of them. That's why. And if anybody needs to improve their shop vac, 
I can't, I can't emphasize how well the Oneida dust deputies actually work. You'll look in the shop back and there'll be no, no dust. It's all in your collector. So Ron, do you do you worry about this being leveled when you when you're putting it on? Would it make that much I, difference? Well, I I could have I could have adjusted it and screwed the block a piece of wood to be like that, but in doing so, I would be entering another possibility of of injury or or something to go wrong, because as it cuts around here, you don't want to take chances of of anything happening. Okay, so. Work smart, work safe. Um, you know, it probably would have worked, but I definitely don't recommend it. And and the board's not attached to anything. The board just sits on the just on sits the, on the table. Sits on but the table. but it's anchored to the piece of wood. Yep. So the 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 Take plank off. can't rock, can't go any place. Right. I and like I said before, I've been doing this for a number of years now. And it was, it just came to me, and that's how everything comes to me. It just comes to me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like when I was offering bowl blanks for sale at the, at the in-person meetings, and so many of them were nice little pieces that you could have made into natural edge bowls. Matter of fact, I have six or seven of them um, that are basically finished, just have to rub out the finish, that... I turned them because I had to. They they were just going. Uh. What, what's this little metal strip you got? Okay, here? so that's uh, oh, they use it for plumbing. To it's it's uh, it's strapping, but I put it on there to help keep the screws from driving in all the time. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, that's all. It's just strapping. Just it buys and roll. It reinforces that edge a little bit. Yeah, to keep the screws from from going there because you know that once a screw gets into the plywood or into yep. whatever, it can be yep. difficult to get it back out. Right. Again, don't use screws that are too long. That's going to be anywhere near your blade. Yeah, you got to be in the here. Yeah, in in the meat. So when you get into smaller bowls, you know you want to want to watch. But if you want to do natural edge stuff, this is a a fantastic approach to cutting your thing around. Now, also, I have to admit that by being able to cut them really truly round. So really, I'm reducing a lot of my turning time, taking off the nubs if you were to do it in eight sides and stuff. Yeah. And the, the key is on this that the, this board has to be supported all the way all around. All the way around. It has to sit on something. On something. That's why like, my pants are is, is larger, so that way when it gets over here, it's supported. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be okay. supported. It has to be supported. Yeah. If it's not supported, you're looking to get hurt. 360 degrees all the way around. Yeah. All right. You know, and it works <laughs> exceptionally well for me, you know. And uh, again, if you don't take the extra, don't do it. Right. If you don't take the extra steps, don't do it. You know, I, I, I have a habit of, I think of something that's going to make it easy for me to do it, so I spend the time to do it. Yep. So later on down the road, life is simple, but, you know, in the meantime, I, I make so much stuff, I don't make stuff. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs>